Hello everybody, welcome back to a new, new vlog. I'm feeling quite great today because I just did a full body moisturise. And you know when you do a full body moisturise you just feel like, I'm so ready for anything. Because I, I mean, I don't know if anyone else doesn't, but I don't do a full body moisturise every day. No. Heck, you're lucky if you get it once a week. Um, but I feel soft and supple and I'm ready to conquer anything. Now I keep trying to vlog but then I end up just vlogging like little bits in a day. So I'm going to insert those now. Hi, <laughs> got double whammy on. Do you actually want to see what it is? Yeah, I can't find it. Okay. Um, on is on the FaceTime. Say hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi. What is it going to be? Wow. What is that? What is that? Woo! Sweetie Sunday! Even though it's a Monday, look at this. <laughs> These are my favourite. Bubs, delicious. We've got a little, oh wow, some chocolate. It was a bit of a fun morning wake up. Um, I've got all the bits here, I'm gonna go downstairs because I know mum and dad will be intrigued. I didn't, I didn't, they gave this to me. They Did sent they? it. You know the sweets we had yesterday? Yeah. That we gobbled in literally two seconds, didn't we? Yeah. I've got some lint. Vegan chocolate, don't they look good? Mm. Yeah? Nice. We've got these bubs, and then dad actually nice. isn't a fan of fizzy sweets. No. So you got the no. non fizzy ones, I prefer fizzy ones, but these bubs are so. No, I love fizzy, don't like sour. Oh, so with yesterday's good for you? They were right, yeah. But I mean, you, you don't have to worry now. No. That's for the love of my life, me. What, this the, is what, my favourite say? one, this what, white chocolate biscoff one. Let's send the card. The card. Well, that's lovely. Isn't it nice? Mm. What have we got in here? What do you reckon? Fizzy, no bonbons. <gasps> Dad's favourite. Marshmallow. Vegan marshmallow. I think you really liked these last time, if I remember Lovely. correctly. Chloe loves a vegan marshmallow. Pisco, um, dip thing, really fun. And you know what? Last time, Mum and Dad. Torpedoes. No, you guys said this was some of the best you'd had. Is it fake? Yeah. Oh, wait, no. What is this? I don't see anything like it. What's that? Nugget in it. Oh, coconut ice. I mean, it doesn't smell like coconut. Chocolates. <gasps> Valentine's chocolates. Nice. Vanilla but hazelnut heart chocolate nut. Really I'm man. not getting it from a boyfriend, so thank you, Conscious Dance Candy Company. What is this? Crunchy shortbread munchies. rings. They look good. Wow. We love a shortbread moment. You specifically love a shortbread little moment. Yeah, I do. Yeah, oh, loves these. Beanies. I know they're dark chocolate shortbread, but they look like beanies, right? Yeah, they are. Thank you so much, Conscious Candy Gummy. It's so nice. It's yeah. <laughs> I don't know whether to do my walk in the morning or the afternoon. Um, I'm tempted to go now because it looks so pretty outside. But the thing is, I know I get slumped in the afternoon and I want to go out. So I'm like, hmm, got to pick and choose wisely. Great tea. Also, I just can't face wearing real clothes at the moment. Well, I know they are real clothes, but I just genuinely haven't been out of tracksuit bottoms in a long time. I can't even remember what trousers feel like. So it's parcel day here for Grace. Look at this wonderful necklace from this gorge girl called Isabella. Um, she's called, her company is called Pongo England. Um, and she, I think she hand makes everything. Um, and I, I am absolutely obsessed with this pearl like colored one, aren't they a slice of me? Um, and she is, she's a first year medical student and 10% of Pongo's profits go to charity. And this month they're getting really close to 100 pounds. So go and check them out on Instagram. Honestly, love them and what a, what a woman. She also sent me this little bracelet with a little smiley happy face on. Look how cute that is. And these earrings. Um, and these are two separate necklaces. So thank you so much, Isabella. I'm absolutely obsessed. Uh, I feel like really, I feel so like blessed. I don't deserve this. This is very kind of all the companies. And now I'm to this chores, which is actually one of my favorite jobs, chores. Not my favorite, like I wouldn't voluntarily do it. Well, I am voluntarily doing it. But I mean, when you've got emptying the bins, worst job. That's the worst job you could have on the scale of house chores. Then you've got like putting out washing, Depends on my vine, really, and depends what the washing is. Then you've got like mopping, sweeping. I think everything with this was just the, the best one. I 
Okay, now we have done the dishwasher. I'm gonna get on with some craft. I'm really trying at the moment to consciously spend less time on my phone. I'm gonna make some origami swans um, because I saw someone with an origami swan and, and I was like, that looks fun. And I feel like I wanna do something that I've never done before. So I've never made, oh, sorry, a paper crane, not a swan. I might make, I might get into origami. The thing is, I had a stack of like origami paper and I don't know where it's gone. So I'm just gonna have to use normal paper. Um, so let's try and make a paper crane. I love crafting activities, if you haven't already realized. I literally could do crafts until they come out of my ears. Come on. Did you know, with this little bit of paper, when I was in breakfast club, um, I used to make frog selfies, so. I could get really into this origami thing. Guys, I think I'm gonna come an origami channel. So here we have my paper crane. That was fun, what should I make now? <gasps> Let's make a hopping frog. Okay, I've just made um, a jumping frog with a little scrap. This actually took a bit of time to get the hang on, but look. I used to make these all of the time, literally. In my bedroom, I just like bang out little jumping frogs. Woo! Yeah, buddy. How's your lockdown going? <laughs> I'm just trying to make this dragon and it's really hard. Taking myself on a little snowy walk around the block. I don't think I have time today to do a big fat one. So just getting out and seeing the fresh air and hearing all the snow, which is still here. Can you hear the crunching? Look, it is still very snowy. And I genuinely feel so much better. I really wasn't going to come out today because I really didn't think that I would have the time to. But I feel so much better for getting out and getting fresh air. And it's cold, so I feel like rejuvenated you know i love it i'm home from my walk i think i'm gonna watch some tv do you know what during lockdown 3.0 we already got into the telly and rom-coms can't stop watching a rom-com me um please let me know your rom-com recommendations down below i feel like with a rom-com there has to be the com if, if you want to know my sort of faves notting hill that's like my absolute i love it i could watch it anytime any place I'd be happy watching that here. It kind of has friends vibes, you know how I could watch that any time, any place. Um, so yeah, please let me know. You're on from right, but I'm gonna go and watch some telly, I think. So I hope you enjoyed that little montage of kind of vlog sections. I'm really sorry, I don't know why. I just keep going to vlog, but then literally every day is the same. Um, and I know lots of other YouTubers are probably feeling the same, and not people who are YouTubers. Like every day is literally wake up, drink. Pairs up, drink, no joking. But it's very much like you wake up, you have brekkie, you do a bit of work, I probably bake something, and then you go to bed. Obviously, and everything in between. I feel like it's not that exciting, and they're just kind of like me just baking basically all the time. But I'm here, I'm ready to party with the best of them. And today's venture, I'm actually gonna bet. <laughs> Bake something, surprise, surprise. Um, so I feel like you'll wanna see that because it's something that I've not baked before. It is, of course, from the icon that is Jane's Patisserie because her recipes are just, genuinely, I've never used the Jane's Patisserie recipe and it's flopped. So um, I'm gonna use one of her recipes. Basically, I said, I think already, that I've sent my family and a few friends. I said, please can you pick a recipe for me to make to kind of spice it up a bit. So they have sent me recipes that they want me to bake for them. Cause I don't want to bake something and they don't like it. Do you know what I mean? Whereas they pick the recipes if they don't like it, that's their fault. So we're going to be making a red velvet brownie cheesecake, cheesecake brownie. Um, I've never made anything like this before. And I even bought the proper red food coloring and I bought the proper I think it's a nine inch pan. I've never had a nine inch pan before. So I'm so excited to make it. Um, I'm really thirsty this morning. So I'm gonna grab myself uh, some water. Um, and I don't think there's much to update you on, but I'll keep you posted. I am about to make this red velvet brownie. Oh, I need to grease the pan. I hate greasing, I always forget. This is my new pan, which is my new best friend. Nine inches, and it is a really nice pan. Um, because to be honest, I'm always making Jane's patisserie recipes, but I don't never have the right size pan. So I was like, might as well treat myself. It was eight pounds, um, and it is really nice quality. To be fair, it's got 
got a lifetime guarantee, maybe 10 year guarantee, something like that. Um, so we've got our butter and sugar in there. It's very interesting because it doesn't have any raising agent at all. I thought it might have some like baking powder or something, but no. So fingers crossed this turns out. We need cocoa powder as well, BRB. And also when I was using, when I was trying to get the red food coloring. Oops, my bad, but it's okay. because. I'm only human for just one day. There's a weird song, and I can't remember the song, that they played on my year six when we went to France in year six. You know, like PGL. Was it PGL? I think it was PGL. Um, and there was this song. I'm not really sure what was happening. I literally was like bawling my eyes out. And I couldn't breathe. There was a take that song that was playing when I was having my breakdown. Now whenever I hear that, I almost get like PTSD from it and it takes me back to that moment and it literally like, makes me go like, oh, I don't like that song. I don't know if I just told you that, but enjoy, <laughs> enjoy that little tale. So for the brownie, you add this like cream cheese scenario. And so it's like a cheesecake swirl going in. So I've just got my Philadelphia. Why is there something so like reminiscent of childhood with Philadelphia? It really reminds me of childhood. Um, wow, we're just having a throwback today, boys and girls. Okay, I'm going in with a caster sugar. Right, we're gonna swirl, get the swirl in action. This is where the magic happens, although not much magic is happening. I think it's more gonna be the inside of the mixture. And then we're gonna put her in the oven. Here is the finished product. Okay, so we've made the red velvet brownie cheesecake. We aren't the biggest fans, although mum, are you warming to it over there? She is. She's currently eating the slice, partaking. Crikey, this is big. Um, I made a cheeky little purchase. Now, I'm not one, I, I went through a phase in 2019 of reading. I actually went through two books a month. And then I stopped reading last year and I was quite sad because I really enjoyed it. But one thing I know that would get me back into reading is autobiographies. Like I've read Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine, The Me Before You, the grunts is all quite trashy. Um, but I have a fascination with looking up on Wikipedia people's lives and finding out how they got to where they are. Um, so, try and guess who the celebrity is. A Kardashian. Oh no, I wouldn't do that. A oh. chef. No. A cook. A model. <laughs> you know you. <laughs> Once upon, upon a time, <laughs> Stephen Mulhern. I don't think he's got one. Mom, I'll tell you who you would like. Oh, interesting! It's like a conversation. That's not what I thought. Grace, you would probably like to do Nigella's. She I got one. <laughs> I knew you would like that. Oh. Look at my little face. I think I would. Yeah, so hopefully this will get me back into reading. <laughs> I'm really excited. Don't you think you have had to like, done quite a lot in life to... Mum, 30 years together on the telly. <laughs> <laughs> Groundbreaking duo. I think they're national treasures. Do you not think they're national treasures? Right, I you go, in, you go to Tesco life. and you ask five people, they'll all know who they are. Does that make them a national treasure though? Just because you know who they are? Does and that they've make added them to this treasure? country. Think of it... You have definitely smiled because of these two men. Um, yes, possibly. you are. Does that make them a national treasure then? Yeah, bringing joy to people. So what makes a national treasure then? Anywho, I'm really excited and I'm about to go on a walk. And I'm about to go do some more work. I should do some more. Peace out, Pumps. Peace out, Pumps. I'm actually really excited to read that. Hi, good morning. It is the next day right now. Um, can you focus? Please. Um, Anna, what I'm actually about to do, oh, last night, let me tell you, you know I'm on a rom-com hype at the moment. I literally watch a rom-com every night. I just can't stop. So any recommendations, please would be appreciated. Thank you very much. Um, and I watched Sweet Home Alabama last night, um, which I have not seen before. So that was kind of fun. Um, and I don't know, I, it wouldn't be in my like, list of top 10 rom-coms. It was in my mum's list of favourite rom-coms, which really, really just shocked me. I don't know if this sourdough is okay or not. I'm going to go for it. Basically, I haven't actually made a sourdough in a few weeks, which is very unlike me. But I've, I just haven't... I just haven't been in, in the mood to make a sourdough. I really don't know if this is okay or not. I'm gonna go for it and pray and hope for the best. 
Um, so I'm going to have to reactivate it, I think, um, because it's been a little bit of time. And I also think today I'm going to bake something, of course. I've just been editing a video now, it's uploading, which um, means I can't go on my laptop when it's uploading, because my laptop is just so done with life, I think. It's just dying, a slow, slow death. But apparently, I think I want to get the desktop, the iMac, as my next computer. Um, but apparently they keep saying they're going to bring out one and it's going to be like the biggest um, renovation that they've had in years and years. I'm kind of just waiting for that, to be honest with you. Um, I don't think there's anything else to update you on. There's literally nothing going on in life. This week has a literally zoom but it's really weird because even though we're not doing anything the weeks really just keep zooming by like literally speeding by i don't know how it's already thursday okay i actually think oh it's just leaning on my face i always get those literally i lean on my face for like a hot minute just like literally two seconds and i just get a red mark anyway i'm gonna make these olive breadsticks i've actually divided the recipe by three because the normal recipe makes 36 and one cake needs one kg of flour I feel like I don't need that many. Um, I just like the act of it. So I'm going to divide it by three and we're going to start off making these. Let's see how they turn. Basically baking is the only thing keeping me going. And then I'm like, you should bake some savoury things because we don't need all the cake. So I've been trying to like half all the recipes that I make, which has been working a lot better actually. Um, so I'm going to make these. I'm excited. I've never made breadsticks before, I don't think. Okay, my camera is charging. So you're going to be on the phone. Um, but we're just preheating the oven now and the dough looks pretty fab to be honest with you it looks lovely um, and I didn't actually even have enough olives I only had half the amount of olives but I sliced mine because he says to keep them in half but um, we didn't do that oh I just need to check if there's there's always oven trays in the oven oh no not today it was one of my biggest pet peeves um, so we need to line two baking trays which we have handily here. I'm so excited for these. I feel like they're gonna be actually quite good. Hopefully, anyway. To be honest, I think that's gonna be the end of the vlog because genuinely, all I do is bake, go on a walk, and watch rom-coms. That's literally the vibe at the moment. Um, so let me know if there's any kind of extra, sorry, my hair's wet, extra grack vlog things, if you want me to do them. But you tried that needle punching, by the way, over there, but I just can't get the hang of it. So if you need a punch, Tell me any tips and tricks, please, and thank you. Love you all loads. Goodbye.